Sarva Bauma, Sri Rupa Goswami, when they are describing the Maha Mantra of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they are telling clearly that Sri Gauranga is counting. What Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu and the Associate did. This verse explained that we must do count. That's why Maha Mantra is called Maha Mantra. Because it's a mantra. Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu to his disciple and his disciple did exactly the same I am telling you. Everywhere is the same information. All the Acharyas, every single time when they are speaking about Mahaprabhu chanting out loud the Maha Mantra, they are always putting one line at least where it reads, he is counting, he is using the Japa. Oh, 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 Krishna, I have been challenged in the topic of Maha Mantra by a comment of a, of a not very educated and friendly follower, because have been following him for some time. I get a confrontational comment where he is teaching me <laughs> how in Chaitanya Bhagavata is clearly explained that Gauranga Mahaprabhu actually chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with one, two, three, four, five, six and seven Brahmanas from the Shastras. I have to say that I am very sorry for this. I am very sorry for this because after my studies on Chaitanya Bhagavata and Chaitanya Chari Charitamrita looks like I have been missing those six shlokas of Mahamantra Kirtan. I am very sorry. And due to that, sorry less, is that I will go to the Granta to check those verses and to see what it reads. Because it's possible, and I said, even I wrote on my book, the Mahamantra of Sri Gauranga, available on mahamantra.info, that I am looking for and able to accept that some things can be different and that due to my language skills on Hindi, Bangla and Sanskrit that are very primitive, then I may be missing verses or in some other grantas that I haven't been studying, then it's quite possible that I will find out something that will contradict what I am explaining. A 350 years old tradition since Gauranga Mahaprabhu where nobody did Mahamantra Hare Krishna Kirtan but only Japa. As Sri Rupa Goswami Pat explained in his fifth shloka, fifth verse on Shaitanya Astakam. But let's go to the verses that this merciful devotee with all his fury and trolling way of speaking, even trolling my work on tarot meditation and all these esoteric topics that I cover um, have been giving me a good lesson. So let's get there and we will see what is what. Yes, my dear followers, maybe I will feel ashamed after this video by showing this. So let's study. I did one day ago a, a small channel with only 25 or 26 subscribers. It's writing Chaitanya Bhagavata Adikant chapter 14 and Shloka 137 Kali Yuga Dharma Haya Nama Sankirtan. In his opinion, this verse is explaining that the Dharma of Kali Yuga is the Sankirtan of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. It's clearly mentioned on the Shloka 137 Kali Yuga Dharma Haya. The Dharma in Kali Yuga is Nama Sankirtan, the chant or the glorification of the Nam. Do you see Hare Krishna Mahamantra here? No. But let's study the Shastra properly. Let's study the Granta properly. Because I am pretty sure that Adit knows very well what he is speaking about. Namaste Guru Devaya Sarvasidi Pradayane Sarvamagala Rupaya Sarvananda Vidyayane Jai Guru Shri Guru Jai Guru Shri Guru Jai Guru Shri Guru In honor of the truth, I offer this video, this work, this study to all of you who are still confused by nonsense. What we are reading here up, it reads Chaitanya Bhagavata by Bhumi Pati Dasa 2008. This Chaitanya Bhagavata is the translation, if I remember correct, of Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati that I guess everybody knows him. 
So here we have the shloka 101.14.137. So you can see clearly what it reads here. Bengali text. Can you read Bengali? Then we have the Hindi. And then we have here. Now we can read together. Kali Yuga Dharma Haya Nama Sankirtana Kari Yuga Chari Dharma Jivera Karana. So now we will read the translation. English translation. The Yuga Dharma of the age of Kali is the congregational chanting of the holy name of the Lord. The four religious principles for the four ages are all meant for the deliverance of the conditioned souls. Now, what happens if we simply go and translate the Hindi or the Bangla? Let's take the Hindi, that normally the translation of Hindi is easier than the Bangla. Then we have here the Google Translate, that is one of the best artificial intelligence engineer for translations. We will write Hindi and then English translation, OK, and we passed this here. Now, what it reads, this is important, what it reads. Kali Yuga Dharma is the chanting of the name. There are four religions in all the four ages for the living beings. Saying this, is everyone, does everyone agree that it reads Kali Yuga Dharma is the chanting of the name? Or it reads, you are watching directly and you saw the translation by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Does it read Mahamantra Hare Krishna? No. Harinam, does Harinam means Mahamantra Hare Krishna? No. Why? Because Narasinga is a name of Hari? Yes or not? Yes. Vishnu is a name of Hari? Yes. Bamanadev is a name of Hari? Yes. Mukunda is a name of Hari? Yes. Madhava is a name of Hari? Yes. Gopala is a name of Hari? Yes. Govinda is a name of Hari? Yes. Radharaman is a name of Hari? Yes. Those names are contained on Mahamantra Hare Krishna? No. So Harinam means name of Hari. All of the ones I have been telling you and the infinite other names. So the Yuga Dharma by Shaitanya Mahaprabhu is the chant of the name of Hari, not Mahamantra. Name of Hari. Because here we are reading Kali Yuga Dharma is the chanting of the name. Okay? Let's go to the second verse that this merciful devotee with such uh, immense intelligence have been posting me very fiercely. I, I was shaking when I read it, actually. Let's see the second verse. Here we have verse 138. Kalautat Hari Kirtanat. Hari Kirtanat. Any intelligent person at this very moment will say, if Harinam Kirtan means chanting the name of Hari, what we read here, Hari Kirtana, means to do Kirtan of the name of Hari. Hari Kirtan, Kirtan of Hari. Yes or not? But I don't want to be confusing or nobody will be misleading by wrong interpretations. So let's get back to the Shastra. But let's go to the Grantas. There is the truth. What we have here, 114138, the second shloka that is given to me. If somebody will attack or will do some kind of a stupid commentaries, they must to do with basis and no basis basing their theories on Rajaguna, you know, out of onion and garlic. Really, intelligence means to be intelligent. Don't pretend to be intelligent if you are not intelligent at all, because you will you are now being embarrassed. Look this. What we have here, Bengali text, Devanagari and Unicode transliteration. So we can read. How does the Supreme Lord destroy the great faults of Kali Yuga? In answer to this question from Pariksit, Sukadeva described the one great quality among the great faults of Kali Yuga as follows. Krite Jat Dyajato Vishnum Tetrajam Jayato Makaehi Dwapare Parichariajam Kalautat Dari Kirtanat. 138. How this translate? Hmm? You can see here clearly this reads Kalau Tatari Kirtanat by doing Kirtan. Uh, this is a well-known verse, yes? The one Jagya happening in Satya and Tetra and Bapara, then is a different Jagya happening in Kali Yuga. And this Jagya is Kirtan, Hari Kirtan. Let's read the translation. Whatever result was attained in Satya Yuga by meditating on Vishnu, in Tetra Yuga by performing sacrifices, and in 
Bapara, Yuga by serving the Lord's lotus feet can be obtained in Kali Yuga by simply chanting and it reads Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. But this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra here doesn't belong here. This is information that has been added in the translation, but this is not true because it, it reads where you can read here up. Check here up where it reads. How does the Lord destroy the great fault of Kali Yuga? An answer to this question from Parikshit Sukadev describes the one great quality among the great faults of Kali Yuga as follow. And now, to make it clear that this doesn't mean Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, this is a manipulation of the, of the Chastra. And here properly, this is a manipulation of the Chastra and this is unacceptable. Let's go to the Shloka. So, the quality among great faults of Kali Yuga as follows. Kritejat Dhyayato Vishnum. Okay, we know this. I have been given the translation already because I quote this on my book already, Mahamantra.info. Go and read in English. But let's get here. All right, here you have the translator. Again, I copy the part of the verse that is creating this Hare Krishna Mahamantra that is coming from nowhere. This is Sanskrit. Sanskrit English. And here is it. Now you are seeing clearly what the Shastra is explaining on this verse. There is no Hare Krishna Mahamantra and my dear friends who are trying to prove me wrong, you are, not you are not proving me wrong, you are taking wrong the Shastras. And I'm sorry to say, but if the two previous verses you think that it reads Hare Krishna Mahamantra, you have been fooled. It's that simple. You have been fooled because now let's read this verse. It's crystal clear. Whatever one meditates on Lord Vishnu in Tetra Yuga, performs sacrifices in Bapara Yuga and worship him in the Kali Yuga also performed by chanting the holy name of Lord Vishnu. The holy name means what how you translate holy name? Let's be let's start getting intelligent, okay? How you translate holy name? Harinam. The real translation of Harinam is holy name. Hari, name of Hari. Hari Nam, name, name of Hari. This is translated as holy name. Holy names of Vishnu. Do you see here clearly? It reads holy names of Vishnu. Are you seeing here Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? No. This is the translation from Sanskrit directly, without interpretation, without business, without people in the middle manipulating your brain. This is holy name of Vishnu. One more time, let's get to the basic to understand what is Harinam. That is the main problem, guys, that you believe things that you even under, don't understand at all. What is Harinam? Narasinga is Harinam? Yes. yes. Vishnu is Harinam? Yes. yes. Mukunda is Harinam? Yes. yes. Are there those names in Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? No. no. Then, holy name means name. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Gopala Govinda Ram Shri Madhuswan. That's why Gauranga Mahaprabhu say in Chaitanya Bhagavata 2.2380. Hari Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Gopala Govinda Ram Shri Madhuswan. You can chant any Hari Nam, Hari Nam, names of Hari, any. Gopala Govinda, Mukunda, Radha Raman, etc. But Maha Mantra all in Japa. Gauranga Mahaprabhu is saying, and I am proving you all this, translating the Sanskrit that is or right here on top of the, of the screen, and here the translation. Does it read Mahamantra Hare Krishna? No, 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 no. Where it reads Mahamantra Hare Krishna is in this translation. That is not the translation of the shloka. These words must to be taking what we have here as ad information. This is in, uh, manipulation of the Chastra. This is not correct. This line here mean, reads here the Sanskrit. This line here have been translated with a agenda to say because the real lines it's written only the kirtan of the or celebration of the names of Vishnu the Harinam Vishnu Nam no Hare Krishna Maha Mantra clear it's clear crystal clear don't be so so smart if you really are not smart you you must start by studying the Chastras and understanding go to the Sanskrit Mm? The person who was criticizing and giving this troll commentary say, me like Indian. If you are Indian, then learn Sanskrit and go to the Shastras. Learn, Bang learn Bangla and go to the Shastras and see what it reads there. You have been fooled, brother. Fooled. Let's go to the third number, to the third shloka. One more time. 
We have here the verse 140. Ratri dina nama laya kaita suiti. Me as a Westerner, that even I don't speak Hindi, I know I know already what this reads and what is the meaning of this. One more time, this is not Mahamantra Hare Krishna. If somebody has been telling that this is Mahamantra Hare Krishna, is lying. Or that person has been fooled. But this is not the true. This is not Mahamantra Hare Krishna. We are talking about the Nam. Nam is Nam. It's not a mantra. Nam. Harinam. Let's get to the Shloka, to the Shastra, Shaitanya Bhagavata. There we have on top, verse 1, 14, 140. That is the verse that he is uh, posting here, trying to prove ignorance only. Check. Rati dina namalaya kaita suite tanhara mahima vede nahi pare dite. Are we in the, on the same platform? Yes. Do we understand the same? Yeah. Are we reading the same? Yeah. Okay. Translation. English translation. The Vedas are unable to fully describe the glories of whom, of one who chants the Lord's name day and night while even eating and sleeping. Now we'll ask you again. Whether reads Mahamantra Hare Krishna? Does the shloka reads Mahamantra Hare Krishna? Where is Mahamantra Hare Krishna? It reads Nama. Nama is name. I have. It will be abusive if from my side I will explain one more time what is Nam and what is Kirtan. So just please let me know where it reads Mahamantra Hare Krishna. The Vedas are unable to fully describe the glories of one who chants the Lord's name day and night while even eating and sleeping. Is Mahamantra Hare Krishna? No. In the translation English? No. In the translation from the Bengali text? No. It reads Nama. So what are you speaking about? Hmm? Who is the bogus one? Can somebody tell? Hmm? Who is the bogus one? Who is the one who don't understand the Shastras? I'm fighting online. What a ridiculous attitude. Let's get to the next verse. 143. Sadhya Sadhana Tattva Harinama Sankirtana Sankirtane Sadhya Sadhana Tattva Harinama Sankirtana Sankirtane Okay. Even me, that I am no Indian, one more time, my mother tongue is Spanish, my second language is English, even that I can see clearly. You don't need to be a genius to really understand these things. You must understand what somebody is fooling you. Or when the information is not being clear enough, you must do your research. I used to f to think exactly the same. The, the song of Mahaprabhu was Hare Krishna Mahamantra, but there is nowhere in Chaitanya Bhagavata, as I am showing here, there is nowhere in Chaitanya Charitamrita, as I am showing here, there is no word in Shaitanya Chandramrika as I have been showing here on the channel. I have like over 30 videos on this topic, almost two years of speaking and studying this topic. I cannot find it and still I am waiting somebody will show me something and I get this kind of comments. The first thing I say, please brother, check my videos on this topic. Don't make a fool of you discussing things that you don't know. And now we have here, and I am very sorry my dear followers who are following this channel due to the deepness and love I have for Gaudiya Vaishnavism. But it's not acceptable when people who have no idea of what they are speaking, they are trying to destroy everything around because it doesn't fit with their mindset. Your mindset is not important. You are not important. What is important? Gauranga Mahaprabhu, words, Sharita, the greatest of, of the Purvacharya. This is important, not what I think or my interpretation. All right? This is the truth. I am showing you here. Sadhya Sadhana Tattva Hari Nama Sankirtane. Let's go to the Chastra. Let's go to the Chastra. Let's read. Here we have on top 1443. And for one million times I am getting back to this shloka just to explain one more time the same thing. I hope with this everything will be clear, honestly, because we have been reading and translating all this properly without any business mindset behind. And we have been getting the pramana. This is pramana. What I am telling you, this is the truth. Liking it or not. If I am not a sanyasi uh, dressed in saffron orange or in pink, telling you the truth doesn't mean that it's not truth. Truth is truth. Okay, let's read. Sadhya sadhana tadve je ki chu sakala harinama sankirtane milive sakala. This is from Bangla. My pronunciation is terrible. I know, as I say, I'm no Indian. My pronunciation is really bad. But it doesn't not mean that I don't understand. I understand much more, as you can see. <clears throat> Sadhya Sadhana Tatve. Read the shloka. Read here up. Please, I will give 10 seconds here where everybody will say, okay, Paramananda Das, here reads Mahamantra. You miss this part of Mahamantra. 
sadia mahamantra no, sadhana tatve no, je kichu no, sakala harinama no, sankirtane no, milive sakala. So is there anything in this verse that I am missing? I am missing some words. Let me, let me check the Bengali, the Hindi, oh, yes, the Hindi and the Bengali. No, no, there is no Mahamantra. What I have here, Harinam Sankirtane. Sankirtan, that doesn't mean congregational chanting. By the way, this is another misunderstanding. Please go directly to Sanskrit Dictionary and read what means Sankirtan. I know it's a lot of work to do and a lot of information to process, but maybe I will give you a hand and I will tell you what means Sankirtan. Sankirtan, by the Sanskrit Dictionary, as you can see and learn Sanskrit.cc, this is just one example because I was checking several books, uh, dictionaries from different times and different writers, Indian writers and European writers. I was using the Sanskrit dictionary made, uh, made in Germany. I don't remember the author in this moment, but it's the Sanskrit dictionary that is used in European universities for Sanskrit studies. Real Sanskrit dictionary. And I found exactly the same that I found in this page, learnsanskrit.cc. So check result for Sankirtan to praise, glorification, celebration, celebration, act of mentioning fully. Sankirtan does not mean congregational chanting. This also is an interpolation, is a ground interpretation to try to set up an agenda, philosophical agenda on what is Sankirtan, Harinam, and Mahamantra. This is all wrong. If you study, you will realize by yourself Sankirtan, praise, glorification, celebration, act of mentioning full. There is not mentioning fully, sorry. There is not congregational chanting as supposed to be. Because Sankirtan is not a word San plus Kirtan. Eh? Sankirtan means complete absorption, immersion in the Kirtan that is mentioned. So it's to pray, it's to do a glorification, a celebration. This is not congregational chanting. Sorry to say, but this is also wrong. So here we have our web. Sadhya Sadhana Tattva Je Kichu Sakala Harinama Sankirtane Milive Sakala. Simple. The, it reads Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? No, doesn't read that. Even if your faith will be shaking right now because I am telling you the truth. Does it read Maha Mantra Hare Krishna? No. Hari Nam Sankirtane, Sankirtan, to glorify the name of Hari. The same that we are reading in the previous verses. Names of Hari, name of Hari, name of Hari. No, where is Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? Where is Hare Krishna Mahamantra in the commentary of Swami Bhaktivedanta or Bhaktisyanta Sarasvati? Because this, this book I also study in order to understand really the concept. So the congregational Shanti of Hare Krishna is the sadhana, he, he said, the Hare Krishna, the name of Krishna, right? Mm -hmm. Sankirtan is the praise of the name of Hari, period. This is Sankirtan. Harinam means names of Hari. Do you know why? Why this is like this and is correct what I am saying to you? Well, because this is the real translation. It's the real translation is what I am telling to you. But to say those devotees such as Hanuman who are chanting Ram, 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 Ram all day long, who have been eternally chanting the name of Ram, 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 Om Ram, J Ram, J J Ram, Om Ram, J Ram, J J Ram. Then we must to think they are wrong because they are chanting Ram 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 Om Ram J Ram J Ram and, and not chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Does it, this make any sense? Really? Is Hanumanji the biggest of the devotees, manifestation of Lord Shiva, the biggest of the Vaishnavas, who at the same time is Gopeshvare, the leaders, the leader of the Gopis. So he knows something and he's chanting Ram 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 Ram, no Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So this Harinam, this kirtan of Hanuman is wrong because it's no Mahamantra Hare Krishna or something else is wrong. Yeah, the interpretation that Harinam means Hare Krishna Mahamantra is wrong. Take it. It's wrong. It means name of Hari. Let's get to the next verse. Honestly, I have been recording 35 minutes. I have been saying everything because every single verse that we will see next has the same mistake, misunderstanding of the concepts. And I am sorry that a Western guy is telling you the truth, but this is truth. Not because I say, it's because the Shastras say that. It reads on the Shastras. I will read one more verse. I don't want to go to all the verses because I have been saying everything. Everything is solved. Everything is clear. Crystal clear. 
If you want to believe, believe me, you are believing Gauranga. If you don't want to believe me, don't believe me. Believe whatever you think, whatever you want, but you are not believing the true philosophy of Sri Gauranga. This is very simple. Let's check the last verse. 144, Harer Nama, Harer Nama. <laughs> this can be like a... <clears throat> I am speaking with like kindergarten kids, you know? This, this, this is even ridiculous. So we have the verse 114, 144. Bengali text, the Vanagari and Unicorn transl transliteration of verse 114, 144. What it reads? Reads up. Harer Nama in Bengali. Hindi, Harer Nama, Harer Nama, Harer Nama Iva Kivalam, Kalaunasti, Vanasti, Ivanasti, Vagatira Niata. What is the translation of this? Yeah, many will say in this age of quarrel and hypocrisy, the only means of delivering is the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. There is no other way, no other way, no other way. Actually, what the shloka really reads is the name of Hari, the name of Hari, the name of Hari. It's the only way in this age of Kali. Hmm? This uh, quarrel and hypocrisy is uh, poetry by the translator. It doesn't read quarrel and hypocrisy. The only means, no, it reads Harer Nama, Harer Nama, Harer Nama is the only way in this age of Kali or in this dark age. That's all what this shloka reads. So now I will ask you, Harer Nama, what does it mean Harer Nama? Let's go to the basics one more time. Friends, go and translate this. What is Harer? Hare, you know what is Hare? Name of Hari, Hare, Hari, Hare, Harer. Of Hari, Nama. What means Nama? You know what means Nama? Who can say what means Nama? Nama, Nama, what means Nama? Means name. And what means Harer? The of Hari. Harer Nama, El, the name of Hari. Okay? Don't get confused. I know for some people this is very difficult, but I, I am trying to explain the best way I can. Nama is the name. Harer means of Hari. The name of Hari. The name of Hari. The name of Hari. Yes? Kevalam Kalau Nasti Vanasti Evanasti Vagatira Niata. Kalau Kala from darkness. Eva, E, E, Eva of not. Nasti. Eva nasti, no other way, no other way, no other way, no other way. Eva gatira ni ata. No other way, no other way, no other way, no other way. Eva nasti, check. Maybe Hare Krishna Mahamantra is, I am missing between the letters. Maybe my glasses are not working properly. I am missing something. Tell me, let me know, please, let me know. Eva nasti, no other way. Eva nasti, no other way. Eva gatira ni ata. Anyata, eva gatira ni ata. Kalau, kevalam kalau. Eva nasti, kalau nasti, eva nasti, eva nasti, eva gatira ni ata. Did we miss some part where it reads Mahamantra Hare Krishna? Let's take a closer look, just for the pleasure of the viewers. Let's get a closer look and then let's laugh. Hare Nama, means Hare Krishna Mahamantra? No, means the name of Hari, as we have been studying in the previous verses, Name of Hari only. Even there is speaking about names of Vishnu. Huh? Name of Hari, the name of Hari, the name of Hari. The way in the on the dark times, dark era, Kali Yuga. No other way, no other way, no other way, no other way. The famous verse of Gauranga Mahaprabhu when he explained that the name of Hari is the only way to go out of the darkness of this present age. So the most basic verse and instruction of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu have been misunderstood. Brother, there are only a few words. Harer, harer Nama, Namaiva, Kevalam, Kalaunasti. Six words, Gatira Niata. Seven, eight words. From eight words, had not been possible to understand the meaning. Guys, you speak Bangla, you speak Hindi. You can study Sanskrit more easy than what I study Sanskrit. I study Sanskrit. I have some basic knowledge on Sanskrit, actually. But my mother tongue is Spanish. My second language that I am speaking to you now is English. My English is terrible bad. So broken. Still I can do. Still I can read and understand how you cannot do it. Brother, eight words only. Harer nama kalau eva nasti. Katira niata. That's all. In this age of quarrel. In this age of darkness, Kali Yuga, in this age of darkness, the name of Hari is the only way. It's so difficult, really, it's so difficult. I don't think so. You know what I think and close in this? I think that sad, sadly, many people have been mistaking the most important things in our philosophy. And you know what? The problem with this 
is that you are missing the core philosophy of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And many will argue, my guru said, who cares what your guru said? Honestly, who cares what your guru said? You care about what your guru said. But if your guru is explaining something that is against the Shastras, as I have been explaining to you, honestly, any intelligent person will hear this video, will compare, will go to the Sanskrit, to the Bangla, to the Hindi, to the shlokas of the verses I have been showing you. Translation by Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati. Even he is not saying Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. He is explaining name of Hari. This is the process, name of Hari. So all those beautiful devotees of Ram Chandra who are chanting 24 hours. I have been meeting here in Brindavan in so many places. They chant Ram, 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 non-stop all their life. They are beautiful sadhus, beautiful sadhus. Are they wrong? They are not chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Are they wrong? No, brother, they are not wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. Not them. Those beautiful devotees who are here in Brindavan chanting Rade, 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 Rade. Are they wrong? They don't chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. They chant Rade. Is Rade a name of Hari? Yes, because Radharani is the heart of Krishna. Krishna is Hari. So Rade Rade also is allowed because it's a name of God. Those devotees who worship Narashinga, Namaste Narashinga, Pralada Lada Dajine, are they wrong? They are exclusive devotees of, of Narashinga. Not that they chant Narashinga with other mantras around or other songs. No, they are in India, in Bharat, exclusive devotees of Narashinga Dev. Are they wrong? Those devotees who are no Gaudiyas, Vaishnava who are no Gaudiyas and are chanting other names of Hari, are they all wrong? All wrong? With the exception of you and your cult. Please give me a break. Fatality. Perfect. Name of Hari is Harinam. Harinam is all the infinite names. Mantra is a different thing. And from the mantras, we have two divisions Mantra and Maha Mantra. Exist 70 million of Maha Mantras. If you don't believe me, you don't need to believe me because everything I speak is from the Shastras. I have been giving my life for the Shastras. I have been trolled worldwide because I am supporting only Shastras. And I have been showing by evidence how some people is lying to keep their business on. 70 millions of Mahamantra exist. Yes, as there are 70 million Bija Mantras also. The 70 million Bija Mantras are creating mantras. The 70 million Maha Mantras are creating Maha Mantras. Maha Mantras and Mantras exist. Where is this Pramana? Gopala Sahasranam Shloka 139. The Maha Mantra is the crown of all the Maha Mantras, 70 million. This is the crown of the gods. So guys, all the information is out. The technology is giving us opportunities that nobody has before. So let's start studying our philosophy and to understand it correctly. Many will think that I am speaking about this on support to my brother Raman Charandas Dev. He is my guru and is Pramana for me, not for you. When I have been telling, show me one video of my over 800 videos in English and over 1000 videos in Spanish, what I am saying that everybody must to chant Bhajanita Igor Radesham Japori Krishna Ram. I never say this. I never have been pushing nothing like this. This is to be honest. You can follow my line that is pure. You can follow Nityananda Parivar, any other line of Nityananda Parivar, counting mine. You can follow Advaita Parivar. You can follow Vishnu Priya Parivar. You can follow Gopal Vata Goswami Parivar. You can follow any line from the sacred and eternal Parivars of Gaudiya Sampradaya. Everything is okay. You don't need to follow me and my philosophy, my Parivar. Follow any of them because the philosophy will not change if it's correct, understand. As I say, this phenomenon of Mahamantra Hare Krishna in Kirtan started no longer than 180 years ago. But this tradition is 500 years old. So what happened before? Everybody was wrong. Come on. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and share. I will read you in comments and the trolls, simply I will delay them. I have no time for trolls and for stupid people. Intelligent people, comment please. If you want to join me in Zoom lectures, you can join me in Zoom lectures. I am planning to start to do Zoom lectures on Sunday's evening, Sunday evening of Bharat, India. So a couple hours before, earlier is in Europe, so everybody can join on a Sunday evening. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was truly educational. Even I am a little bit angry, but I am making it with love. 
with love for my Mahaprabhu, for my Nityananda Ram. Jai Sri Radha. Sarvabhauma Sri Rupa Goswami, when they are describing the Maha Mantra of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they are telling clearly that Sri Gauranga is counting. What Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu and the Associate did. This verse explained that we must do count. That's why Maha Mantra is called Maha Mantra. Because it's a mantra. Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu to his disciple and his disciple did exactly the same. I am telling you, everywhere is the same information. All the Acharyas, every single time when they are speaking about Mahaprabhu chanting out loud the Maha Mantra, they are always putting one line at least where it reads, he is counting, he's using the Japa, 